cuts all the low end off, you just drag it. is I just uh, I like to put all my volumes down I get a rough mix and then I put all my volumes down and I mix one individually so you don't get one that's like way out of sync or like way out of whack that's how I mix and that's how professionals mix too so. first thing. and then you to you click that to enable it that's a that's gonna be the brass it's gonna be this one right here I'm sorry, what am I talking about? Control click right at the end. I'm sorry. Control click right at the end, and that's just gonna loop infinitely. Oh, and by the guy, by the way, guys, when you mix, make sure your limiting is turned off. When you open up FL Studio, there's an automatic limiter that comes up every time. I don't know what. I don't know how to disable that. If I'm gonna try to find the setting, but it's automatically enabled for your limiter. So turn it off. When you mix, that's that's one thing I've always done, because when it's on, you just turn it off, because it makes everything way too loud. Now we're gonna bring them hi hats up. I like to just cut all that low end off. So you don't get it, you don't get any fucking static. Bring your snare up. Oh, that must be a chant. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, here's the snare. did there if you want to move an instrument over you click alt arrow so you say I want to move the snare over here the ones that I'm already making. you just click on it and then you click on your keyboard alt and then using like the left and right arrow keys you just move it left That's a pretty good uh, tip to that uh, snare just standard reverb open up fruity reverb too put the size all the way up and then turn it down
just gonna rename that open hat and then we're gonna move it over I like to be really organized when I mix some people are like extremely unorganized and it just bothers the hell out of me but it's so much easier when you mix organized to me at least because you, you get all your instruments in order it's like you could change one specifically it's just so much easier I love organizing all my stuff you know it makes it it's a very good lesson too because some like artists they want all their beats tracked out and it's a good um it's a good way to uh to mix i think with that open hat just cut all that low end off i mean it's just basic shit guys it's not brain science we're just mixing hip hop here this isn't you know, it's not too difficult. I'm really gonna get that crash in there. So that crash is gonna be at 10. Cutting the low end off, it just gets rid of all the muddiness and the and the shit that you don't want in a mix. You know, you want like clean, clean mixes. And I like to put a reverb on it, so it gives you that ambience a little bit. sound I'm probably not going to keep you know what I'm not even going to keep that I might add that in later so I'm just going to mute that for now um, so far we've got our leads our brass our hi-hat our snare open hat crash and now we're about to get our 808s kicks chants and all that shit in your 808 um i use uh 808 warfare pack they got some pretty good booming 808s on there what i do is i put a fruity distortion on it and then i put a uh eq on it like that it up a little bit i mean you don't need to put some people put like camel crushers and like all these crazy ass plugins on it i mean it's so unnecessary just put a little fruity fast distortion on there you're good to go find like a really good kick pack if anyone knows of any good kick packs let me know because I'm looking for good kicks 
I've been using the same kicks for like two years, and I'm sick of it. So, uh, I like using Kick Four out of the Lex Luger pack. Fucking hard. Hell yeah. to like be really loud not really loud i like my kicks to be like a lot louder than the 808s because it just makes it thump a lot more okay i'm noticing this brass sorry that's not the brass I don't like the way that sounds. Like I said, it sounds kind of corny. So we're going to put it to 16th step and we're going to make it a little bit shorter. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of these little singles out. Just make it. There we go. I clone the, eight, the 808 here and I'm just gonna make this a little bit different uh, for the second pattern here so my eight or eights are off pitch and then I find out that I find out they're off pitch like way later in the song and then I'll change the pitch and they sound like amazing because they were like one note off and how I find out that the right pitch is I click my 808s and I move them up like three octaves and I go like sounds right you know I don't again I don't know much about music theory I just I have a good ear for music, I guess. So why isn't anything playing? <laughs> See? Oh. Okay. See, that sounds right to me. You know, if it was up here. sound right it's got to be i think that's like a g flat or some shit so if that sounds right now i can move it down an octave and even an octave more with that low bass you know what i mean
change that brass because that would make it sound a lot better like this. So just copied and pasted that and I made the pattern bigger. Delete that. So that's the brass right there. <laughs> So now it fits the, it fits the 808, like, see what I mean? That's the same note as the brass now. You'll see what I mean. guys so that's about it mixing trap beats mixing beats professionally you know it's just a little uh it wasn't i didn't go too in depth but you know i got a basic rough mix here. got a basic rough mix of all my instruments um stay tuned because in the next video i'm going to be showing you guys how to master the beat and make it super loud and super crisp and just really loud so that's going to be the next videos I'm going to be teaching you guys how to master using Maximus, the plugin that basically comes with FL Studio.